Hi, Composi Mold users. Thanks for tuning in to another installment of the Setting You Up for Success video series. In this video, we're going to show you how to suspend your master object between two halves of a mold that have been poured separately and can easily separate so that you can pull your master object out and have duplicated all four sides of your master object. Start by preparing the object you choose by washing it with soap and water and filling all unnecessary undercuts with clay. Press half of your object into a polymer type clay in a heat safe mold box. Apply a mold release and bubble buster to your master object and the inside of the mold box. Now you can pour the melted composi mold over that half of your master object by at least one half of an inch and let the composi mold solidify back to its rubbery consistency. First, remove the mold from the container and remove the clay from the bottom half of your object. Okay, pay attention. This is a very important part of making a two-part mold. It's freezing this first half of the mold um, before pouring that second half. That will ensure that these two halves don't bond together. Very important. Place the first half of the mold with the master object still embedded, mold side down, into another mold box and then into the freezer. Remove the first half of the mold from the freezer and repeat the process again by applying a mold release and bubble buster and pouring the melted composite mold over this half of the object by at least a half of an inch. Once the second half of your mold has solidified, pull the two halves apart and check out the details of the mold. Press your casting material into each of the halves, filling the lowest, most detailed sections first. And be sure not to overfill each half by keeping your casting material level with the top of the mold. Align the two mold halves and squeeze together. Let your material harden in the mold. Once your material has hardened, carefully remove one half of the mold from your casting at a time. Don't hesitate to make a slice in either half of the mold so that you can open the mold up like a book to remove the cast and make it a little bit easier. Admire your casting blend the parting line if necessary, and embellish based on your creative vision. Thanks for tuning in today to learn how to make a two-part mold. Please keep in touch and let us know if there's anything else in particular you'd like to learn.